Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about one of the important concept in digital electronics course, digital logic design course and switching theory and logic design course is complements. Complements are mainly used for representing the negative numbers. Okay, whenever negative number is occurred while performing the automatic operations, at that time we have to use complements for representing the negative numbers. So, there are two types of complements. First one is R's complement, second one is R minus 1's complement. These are the two types of complements generally used in digital electronics. In this video, we have to discuss only R's complement. In the next video, we have to discuss about R minus 1's complement. Now, in R's complement, R is nothing but base over R radix. Okay. If R value is equal to 2, then it can be called as 2's complement. If R value is equal to 10, then it can be called as 10's complement. Okay. R is nothing but base over R radix. If base value is equal to 2, that is nothing but R value is equal to 2, then that type of complement is called as 2's complement. If R value is equal to 10 is nothing but base value is equal to 10, then that type of complement is called as 10's complement. Okay, in the R's complement, we have to know about how to find out the 2's complement of a given number, how to find out the 10's complement of a given number. Now, what is the formula we have to use for calculating the R's complement? The formula is R's complement is equal to R power N base 10 minus N. So, this is the formula we have to use to find out R's complement. If R value is any base over a radix. Generally, we have to use 2's complement and 10's complement. But, by using that formula, we have to find out any complement of a given number. Where R is nothing but base over a radix of a given number. n small n is nothing but number of digits in a given number. Number of digits in a given number. Capital N is nothing but given number. Okay. So, these are the these are the description for R, N and capital N. So, by using that formula, we have to find out the R's complement of a given number. Okay. Now, First example, find out the 2's complement of 11001001001. Okay, so the given number contains the base over a radix is equal to 2. Okay, so given number is equal to 11001001. 0, 0, 1, base 2. Okay. Now, the given number contains the base for a radix is equal to 2. n is nothing but 
नंबर ऑफ डिजिट्स इन द गिवन बाइनरी नंबर वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन सो एन इज नथिंग बट नंबर ऑफ डिजिट्स इन द गिवन नंबर दट इज इक्वल टू नाइन कैपिटल एन इज नथिंग बट गिवन नंबर दट इज वन वन जीरो जीरो वन वन जीरो जीरो वन नाउ वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द टू कॉम्प्लीमेंट सो वेर आर इज इक्वल टू टू ओके नाउ टू कॉम्प्लीमेंट टू कॉम्प्लीमेंट ऑफ वन वन जीरो जीरो वन वन जीरो जीरो वन कैन बी कैलकुलेटेड एज as here the formula is r power n base 10 minus n so this is the formula we have to use now we already know the r value already know the n value already know the capital n value now we have to substitute r value is 2 small n value is 9 2 power 9 base 10 Minus n value is one one zero zero one one zero zero one. This is base two. Okay. Clearly observe. This is the base ten and this is the base two. Okay. Now two power nine value is five twelve. Five twelve base ten minus one one zero zero one one zero zero one. base 2 okay here we have to perform the subtraction operation between these two number but this number has the base value is 10 and this number has the base value 2 whenever these two numbers base values are same then we are performing the subtraction operation otherwise we do not perform the subtraction operation now This is the base value is a ten for this number. Now this number has the base value two. We have to convert base two value into base ten value. Okay. What is the equivalent value? So here one one zero zero one one zero zero one. How to convert this binary number into equivalent decimal number? by using the positional weights positional weight method so positional weight always starts from right to left so this is positional weight is 2 power 0 this is positional weight 2 power 1 2 power 2 2 power 3 2 power 4 2 power 5 2 power 6 2 power 7 2 power 8 okay after writing the positional weights This digit is multiplied with the corresponding positional weight. One into two power eight plus one into two power seven plus zero into two power six. That is zero plus zero into two power five. That is zero. Next one into two power four plus one into two power three. Plus zero into two power two zero zero into two power one zero plus one into two power zero. So what is the equivalent value? One into two power eight is two fifty six plus one into two power seven is one twenty eight plus zero plus zero plus one into two power four that is a sixteen plus one into two power three that is a eight plus Zero plus zero plus one into two power zero, so that is one. What is the equivalent value? So one plus eight nine nine plus six fifteen fifteen plus eight twenty three twenty three plus six that is twenty nine. Two two plus one three three plus two five five plus five so that is ten. One one plus one two two plus two that is four. So four not nine base ten value. So now here we have to write five twelve base ten. So 
the equivalent decimal number for this given binary number can be calculated by using this one. So that is 409, so base 10. So what is the remaining value here? Base 10, here base 10. So we have to perform the subtraction operation. 512 minus 409. So 81 plus 91 plus 12, that is 103 base 10. Here, the problem is find out the two's complement of given binary number. So the answer is also a binary number, but we are getting the decimal number. Again, this decimal number can be converted into binary number. How to find out the equivalent binary number for the given decimal number 1 or 3? So that can be divided with 2. 2 51's, 1 or 2, remainder 1. 2 25's, remainder 1. 2 12's, remainder 1. 2 6, remainder 0. 2 3's, remainder 1, 0. Next 2 1's, remainder 1. Next one, 2 zeros, remainder 1. So the answer is, we have to write the remainders from bottom to top. So 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. This is the equivalent binary number. So the equivalent binary number for decimal number 1 or 3 is 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, base 2. So this is the two's complement of the given number 1100011001 is uh, this one 1100111. Okay. In this way, we have to find out the two's complement of the given binary number. Okay. In the same way, we have to find out the Tens complement of a given number. Next, the second problem is find out the tens complement of 7286 with base 10. So, the given number contains the base or a radix is equal to 10. So, r is equal to 10. Small n. Small n is nothing but number of digits in a given number. How many number of digits are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. Next, capital N is nothing but the given number that is 7286. Now, we have to calculate the tens complement. Tens complement of 7,286 can be calculated by using the following formula. So, the formula is R power N base 10 minus capital N. So, this formula is used for calculating the R's complement where R value is equal to 10. Now, the tens complement of 7286 can be calculated by using this formula. Now, what is R value? R value is 10. What is N value, small n value? That is 4. So, 10 power 4 base 10 minus what is capital N value? That is 7286. Now, 10 power 4 value is 10,000. 10,000 base 10 minus 7,286 base value is also 10. So now observe this one. This number base value is also 10. This number base value is also 10. So then we have to perform the simple arithmetic subtraction operation. So, what is the equivalent value? So, 2714. Okay, 2714. 
with the base value is equal to 10. Okay, this is the answer. Now, the tenths complement of 7286 is 2714. Okay, in this way, we have to calculate the tenths complement of a given number. Okay, by using this formula, we are calculating any complement, any complement. So, by using this formula, we are calculating the sixth complement, calculating the uh, fifth complement, calculating the eleventh complement, calculating the fifteenth complement. Any base value we are taken, then we have to find out that complement by using this formula. I hope all of you understanding this video. This video is mainly used for calculating the complement of a given number by using this R's complement formula. Without using formula also, we are finding out the tens complement or our twos complement that is already discussed in the previous videos. Okay. Thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video. I hope all of you understanding this video. If you really understanding this video, click on the like button and share this video to your friends and classmates. And please subscribe my YouTube channel. So, Divvela Srinivasara. If you have any doubts, please put your doubts in the comment section. I will try to clarify your doubts. Please subscribe my YouTube channel, Divvela Srinivasa Rao. After subscribing my YouTube channel, so click on bell icon to get the future updates in my YouTube channel. Thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video.